guys, so today I am doing my November Sephora Play unboxing and I'll share with you guys a little bit of the products from October that I have tested out. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like Sephora Play used to come at like the 15th every month on my doorstep and now it's getting closer to like the end of the month. So I'm not liking that, but let's get into the products that I tested out from the last box. I didn't try out everything, but I will talk to you guys about the ones I did try out. I finished the Tory Burch Belle Azure fragrance. I really like this stuff. I'll leave the scent description down below, but this smells so good. I don't believe Tory Burch is a cruelty-free brand, so I won't be repurchasing it, but it did really smell great. I really enjoyed the scent. Then I got this um, Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. It's for smoothing. It has rosehip and argan oil for pore perfecting. I didn't like this stuff, honestly. It was very thick. It had a nice pump. The packaging of these products are getting better and better, in my opinion. Um, I did use this maybe about three times. I will continue to use it as like a primer, but it's very thick. I'll put some on the back of my hand so you can see. It's a very like pasty, pink, thick consistency that is just not what I'm looking for in a primer. It's just so thick and I mean yes, it does have a smoothing effect to your hands. Like it, my hand definitely feels softer on this side that I applied the primer. But it's just so thick, I just did not, I didn't enjoy using it. So I am happy I tried this. This is something that I would have maybe tried a full size product of it. I love Urban Decay, but that product is just not for me. Also doesn't have a scent, which is good. Um, the next thing is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, Invisible Color Foundation. They gave me this shade Y245 which actually fit me pretty well. I really did like this foundation. Um, again, it came with a pump, which was great. This was a very light to medium coverage foundation. It kind of was a little bit too yellowy for me, but overall, it was a really nice shade match. I do believe they um, got the shade, like your shade color, if you went to like an IQ, foundation IQ station at a, Sephora or if you know your shade like for me I always go by my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation shade which is 3.5 so you can put that into your profile at Sephora and then they'll know and can compare the other foundation shades to your skin color which is fantastic so I really liked it Makeup Forever is not cruelty free though so I won't purchase full size but I will continue to use that up and then the other product I wanted to share with you guys is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea a Marine Boosting Mist. I have used a sample of this already before. Really like this stuff. It smells so good. Didn't put anything on today, but it's not something I feel like is a necessity in my collection. I like using it every now and then. It smells really great, but it's not, like I said, an everyday product for me. I don't see the long-lasting effects of this product. But it is nice to have in a Sephora play box. So those are kind of like the main products that I tested out from the last box. We will open the November box. It's the Survival of the Chillest. You get your 50 Beauty Insider points. Again, guys, I really don't go into Sephora that often, so I don't really cash these in every now and then. If I remember, I'll take it with me. But majority of the time when I go into Sephora, I don't have that with me. Or it's expired. So those are kind of unbeneficial. I wish you could use that online too. But I get why they're trying to pull people into the store. And then they have the little bag this time. It's called It's Me O'Clock. Which is really nice. Meditation is perfect for November getting into the Christmas holidays when stress is everywhere. So let's pull out and see what I got in this box. Oh, I got something that like, it slipped out. So the perfume sample, I do believe everyone gets the same one. It is my Burberry blush. So this is kind of what the packaging looks like right there. I love Burberry. I wish they were cruelty free, but they're not. So let's try this. Oh, um, a little bit too powdery for me actually. Yeah, a little bit, I think like, 
yeah, it's too powdery. But then again, I feel like I also think that of the Lipstick On fragrance from Replica. So if you guys like the Lipstick On fragrance, let me know if you guys like this My Burberry Blush. kind of has the same like powdery scent that I don't like of the Lipstick On. So y'all might like that one. Then I have from IGK, this is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm which I do believe they are cruelty free, correct me if I'm wrong, but I love having hair samples. Perfect for travel and just trying new products. I have the Marc Jacobs, this is the Velvet, no new Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I have used a sample of this already. I really do like this mascara. Marc Jacobs like beauty products is cruelty free, but their fragrances are not. Don't ask me why. But I'm really happy to have a another like little sample of a mascara. Right now the only mascara in my collection is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And I almost feel like it's drying out on me, which I just opened it like a week ago. But yeah, that's kind of stinks. Then I have from Origins, this is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Me and my husband absolutely love this charcoal mask. They are not cruelty free, which is strange, but I really like this stuff. And I purchased my husband one like a couple months ago because he really like swears by this stuff when he has really bad acne on his face. He puts this on and it does a fantastic job for it. So we always have a bottle of this. We have not found anything dupable for it. We have tried like yes to charcoal mask. It doesn't work as well. So let me know if you guys have a good charcoal mask that you have tried that is comparable to this. But we absolutely love this mask and I'm glad to have a little sample size. This won't be opened for a while because we do have a full size we're working on. So always good to have this and I didn't pay for it. Then I have from Paracone MD. This is the Hydration Cloud Cream. And it says apply to face and neck. So I think this is just like a moisturizer. Let's see if it has a scent to it. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to open. I'll open that later. Not fighting with it today. And then the last thing here is a Sephora Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel. They gave me a nude shade called Perfect Nude. And I really like this stuff. I had a pink one, but then it kind of went bad, so I threw that away. I've been having Sephora play, I guess, for a little over a year now, um, and I really like it. So it's really great to have a nude gloss, especially for everyday wear. So that is everything in the November Sephora play box. And again, I shared with you guys my October kind of hits and misses of the box. Let me know if you guys like this, these types of videos by giving it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos from me. I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.